Hey guys, it's Miss Millsap. I hope everyone is having a great week. I am sending you another installment, this time from my dining room, trying to give you something new to look at every week. Um, since I filmed my last video, we received the news that school is permanently closed for the rest of the year. So obviously that has been on my mind a lot as well as yours, I am sure. Um, I'm sure at that time that brought some really excited feelings briefly, and then probably a roller coaster of feelings after that. That's definitely how it was for me and at my house. Um, so with that, this week I'd kind of been thinking about this concept and activity that I really love all of the time, but I think now is a great time to talk about it, and it is called the circle of control. So I taught sixth graders this activity um, just a month or two ago. You can read more about it um, in my Google Classroom under the topic for anxiety and worries is a slideshow entitled 11 skills for worry and the circle of control is specifically in that slideshow if you want to check it out there but in general it's just a really awesome activity for anxiety and worries um, and when we are feeling really overwhelmed and like everything is out of our control and there are so many things right now that we have zero control over and if we dwell on that, it begins to feel like that's it and that we have no control over anything. So um, you can do this a few different ways. You can do it with real circles. Um, so you can draw um, one small circle within another larger circle, or you could even do your hand. And so trace your hand and inside of your hand, you're going to put the things that you can control and outside of your hand, you will put the things that you cannot control. So right now, some things that you might put in your cannot control circle are a lot. <laughs> so it could be things like um, predicting what will happen next or how long this situation is going to last. It could be the amount of toilet paper at the store. Um, it could be that your parents um, are in healthcare or in some other profession where they are continuing to have to go to work, which is really overwhelming and stressful. Um, it could be that other people, friends and family are choosing to distance themselves in ways that you don't agree with. And that can be really difficult. Maybe some friends are still getting together for play dates and homework. And that's something that's not allowed at your house and that feels unfair. So your other circle of things that you can control are things like your positive attitude and the way that you choose to display kindness and gratitude. Right now you have a lot of control over your schedule, which you don't normally have. So that's a nice one to put in there. Um, your behaviors. You can find fun things to do at home. Um, you can choose to limit your social media and your news um, exposure for your own mental health. And so just continue with this list and you're just thinking of as many things as you can. Sometimes people will put a little bubble in between the two for their circle of influence. And maybe there are some things that are kind of in between where you did have a conversation with the person um, or express some concerns about a particular situation. Maybe you do have more influence over that than you realized. So the last thing is, what do I do once I have figured out what I have no control over? How can I make myself feel better? And so at that point, it's really about using your coping skills. And I know everybody knows what those are because that's all we talk about all the time. So redirecting some of those thoughts to some positive self-talk um, or 
taking some deep breaths, do some breathing exercises or anything else that is a positive coping skill for you. Um, creative things, exercise, reading, um, chatting with friends on the phone, whatever is going to make you feel better and distract you and redirect some of those thoughts is how you deal with the things that you have no control over. So I think that this particular um, concept or activity can be really helpful at this point as so many things more than normal are out of our control. And it's an awesome exercise for resilience. And I know the third graders know about that because we talked about that recently too. But resilience is about being able to bounce back when things are hard. And things are hard right now and we may need to consciously do some activities to build resilience during this time. And so I encourage you to try that. Um, I was going to throw a few other things at you, but I think that's enough for this week. So I encourage you to try the circle of control. Look on my Instagram, Mrs. Millsap Bayside. I shared a really good graphic about um, the circle of control specifically for right now. And it has some just funny things and some um, good things on there. And then maybe you can try it for yourself. Um, maybe take five or 10 minutes this week, play some nice music, sit in a quiet room, work on this activity, and then maybe share it with somebody afterward. And you can talk about how to deal with some of the things that are out of your control. I hope everyone is doing well this week. Um, I know that things have been overwhelming and the thought of not seeing y'all for a really long time is really overwhelming. So um, we are going to make it and things are going to be okay. And I will continue to see you here. And I want you to continue to reach out to me um, however you can so that we can connect and I can be here to support you as we continue this journey together. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye.